So now that you have your oxyacetylene torches hooked up and both the acetylene and oxygen turned on, what you're going to want to look at first is uh, the left hand gauge on both the oxygen and acetylene and it gives you, this is like your fuel gauge and how much oxygen and acetylene you have in your tank. The right hand gauge tells you the pressure of the oxygen and the pressure of the acetylene. Now your regulators adjust the right hand gauge, uh, both the um, oxygen and acetylene. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is turn on your acetylene without any flame a quarter turn. And then the gauge will roll down a little bit once you have some of the acetylene coming out. And you adjust your regulator to increase or decrease that um, output pressure of the torch to 5 psi on the acetylene then you turn it off and you can see how that gauge goes back up then on on the oxygen side you're going to do the same thing you're going to turn on the oxygen and if you watch that gauge quarter turn that gauge drops down to about 10 psi and if it's higher or lower you're going to adjust accordingly to get it right to 10 psi now clockwise makes it increases the pressure and counterclockwise decreases the pressure. So you want to have 10 PSI with the, with your torch on a quarter turn on the um, oxygen side and then 5 PSI on the acetylene side while it's, while it's on. Now you're ready to light your torch. Alright, there's a couple of things before you uh, fire off your torches and one of them is you really need to pay attention to which direction the tip is pointing. A lot of times if you're not paying attention you're, you can point it towards the, the hose or, or the, uh, the gauges. I'll try not to do that for this video. Also if you're in a customer's home you need to make sure that there's no um, you're not very close to a wall or furniture or carpeting because it's going to melt it or burn it quickly. Uh, the other thing is if, in your, if you're in a customer's home and you fire off your torches and you and when you do that you're going to see there's a lot of soot that comes out so you're going to want to get your torches adjust adjusted quickly to the to the desired flame so the way that you light your torches is you open your acetylene valve about a quarter turn you now have acetylene coming out of the torch and you're going to take your striker and fire off that acetylene see as you turn it down all of this soot coming up that's going to get all over the customer's home so you want to get the oxygen turned down slowly as quick as you can and that takes away that soot now what you're going to want to do is you're going to adjust your oxygen and acetylene slowly until you get a nice cone at the tip you don't want to have too much acetylene you get this big long flame or too much oxygen it starts to sound like a dead engine that's going to blow a hole through your, uh, through your piping so you want to get a nice cone and a nice little rumble it's almost you can almost go by sound and get a nice little get everything adjusted just right and that is how you light up your torches and get ready to braze now when it's time to turn off your torches, you're going to turn off the acetylene first. Acetylene goes off first and then the oxygen. If you uh, turn off the oxygen first and you don't turn your acetylene all the way off, you're going to have this tiny flame of acetylene burning inside of the, the tip of your torch here and that's not a good thing if you're not paying attention. Now that you're done with your torches and you're ready to put them back in your truck, you're going to turn off your acetylene and you're going to turn off your oxygen. But you still have pressure inside of your uh, your hoses here. So you'll open up both the oxygen and acetylene and watch your gauges go down to zero. And once they settle down to zero, you go ahead and close your gauges. You don't want to let that pressure build up inside your um, oxygen acetylene hose or torch or manifolds by leaving that uh, those lines charged up.